What's up, Weld 2 family? It's Isaac once again, and today I'm going to be welding a 2 inch Schedule 40 in the 6G position with the Everlast Power Arc 161 STH welding machine. Now, stay tuned to the end of this video because we will be giving this machine away. Today's video is sponsored by Everlast, and we'll hear more about them later on in the show. All right guys, so here we have a, a two inch schedule 40 in the 6G position. Now, the way I like to run my pipe, uh, I like to put two tacks, two bridge tacks, one on the side, one right here, and then one right here. Now, whenever I do my route, I'm a back feed, and I'm a, I'm a quarter it. I'm gonna do from six o'clock, all the way maybe up to about eight o'clock. I'm gonna stop at the bridge tack. I'm gonna come the other way. I'm gonna do from six o'clock, all the way to to 12 o'clock and then i'll come back over here and i'll start from eight and i'll close it at 12. all right guys so here we have the uh everless power arc 161 sth now this machine you can run it at 240 volts or 120 volts if you run it at 240 volts you have the maximum output of 160 amps if you run it at 120 volts you have the maximum output of just 90 amps all right guys, so the TIG torch that this machine comes with is a little different. It does not have a gas valve. It just has a little button right here that you press. Once you press it, the argon will come out. The settings that I'm gonna run on this machine, right now is on stick. I'm gonna push it for TIG right here. So now it's on TIG. So this machine has three different type of starts. It has live lift, which is a new feature. Lift start, which is the most common one and high frequency. Now, the beautiful thing about live lift is that if you put it on live lift, you do, you do not have to hold the button right here for your argon to come out. As soon as you strike the arc, the argon will come out by itself. And I'm gonna run it on live lift, and I'm gonna run my route at 85 amps with the 70S6 wire. All right, guys, so right now I'm gonna start my route, and I'm gonna do the back feed method from the back and just feed and feed and weld up and down up and down up and down all right guys so for this two inch schedule 40 on the 6g position i ran my route at uh, 85 amps now i did bridge tax on the sides and i quartered my route i went from six o'clock to eight o'clock and i went from six to three I cut my bridge tack off at three, and then I finished my route from three to 12. All right guys, so now I'm gonna cut off my last bridge tack, and I'm gonna go ahead and feather my weld so I can be able to tie into it. Warm it up, warm it up. Alright guys, so now I'm finished with my route. I went ahead and wire wheeled it and grinded down my high spots. Now for my hot pass, I'm going to run a 332 70S6 wire and I'm going to turn my amps up to 110.
now for my hot pass, I'm going to run a 332 70S6 wire. All right guys, I'm finished with my hot pass, but now I'm gonna switch it from live lift to lift start. So now I'm gonna have to manually hold the trigger for my argon to come out. I just wanna go, I just wanna try it out and see how that works. And for my fill pass, I'm gonna keep the same amperage, 110 amps. All right guys, so now I have my pipe flush. Now for my cap, I'm gonna turn it five amps to 105 amps and the reason for that is because my pipe is already pretty hot and I don't wanna cause no undercut on my cap. All right guys, so for this Everlast Power Arc machine, I had my, I used the 240 volts as my connector. Now, the reason I connected it to a 240 volt is because I wanted to get the max output, which is 160 amps. Now, if I would have put it to a, a 120 volts, then my maximum output would have been 90 amps, which I wouldn't be able to run this pipe because I went over 90 amps. So this Everless Power Arc STH machine is more than capable of running this Schedule 42 inch pipe. As you guys can see, my pipe came out very, very good. My root penetration was very good. My cap came out beautiful. All right guys, so there you have it, a two inch schedule 40 in the six G position using the Everlast Power Arc 161 STH welding machine. Now this machine will be a giveaway, so click the link below to enter the giveaway. All right guys, so there you have it. So please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, thank you.